I think the entrance to a great museum has to be appropriate to, to Louvre. And we simply couldn't do anything that is above ground, that is grand enough to do justice to that requirement. By excavating the Napoleon Court, we put that reception hall quite far down, nine meters below ground, and so forth. Therefore, with the pyramid, we have a tremendous volume. And that volume gives Napoleon Hall the kind of importance that it deserves. The pyramid was a very controversial subject back then in 1984-85. But the form of the pyramid, people tend to confuse that with Egypt. I, I think that's actually inaccurate. It's not true. Uh, the Egyptian pyramid is enormous, number one. Secondly, it's solid. It's a stone. Uh, it's a place for the dead. Uh, the pyramid at the Louvre is just the opposite. It's, it's glass. It's transparent. I think the transparency is very important here, not only for the functional reason of bringing light into the reception hall, but also to be able to see through so that you can see the entire complex of the Louvre. The pyramid is an exceptionally discreet external expression of an enormous transformation inside and underground, where thousands of cubic meters were excavated to make space for the new museum. I remember when I went to the Louvre uh, back in 1951, that was my first experience with the Louvre, there were only two little toilets in that huge museum. And you don't find it. One simply did not find those things, you know. Um, so it didn't function as a museum. So the museum brief was a very, very important one. And in order to make it work as a museum, a very major intervention has to take place. When I met Mr. Mitterrand, President Mitterrand at that time, I told him, yes, I think something could be done to make it function well as a museum, but we have to dig under Napoleon Court. And that was the first step. Now, if he at that time told me, Mr. Pei, I don't think that is possible, and then I would have said, then I'm sorry, there's nothing could be done. But he was very understanding. He said, I can understand what you meant very well. Let's try. Thank you.